Well, hello there, my YouTube family. It is me. It is me here doing another video. Um, I don't do these type of videos often, but I'm going to do it today because I'm getting more into making videos about my pets. And uh, today it's going to be all about my isopaths. So I'm going to be showing you all, all the type of isopaths I got. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys what they eat and telling you about what they eat. So if you're looking for that kind of content, please stick around. Okay, guys, um, today what I'm going to be feeding them, because keep in mind, I do feed them different stuff all the time, and I at least feed them like once or twice a week, but lately anymore, I've been trying to feed them once a week, because I was told, I was on bigger channels, and they said, if you don't, like, bother them too much, they'll produce better and uh, reproduce better and all that, which, to me, kind of seemed to be true, but otherwise, other than that, today they're going to be getting some bee pollen, which they all love this stuff. I got this off at of Etsy shop. And then they're going to be getting some fish food, which is formula I got from Aquashella last year. And not last year. Actually, I had this for two years now. And then, of course, I'm going to give them a cucumber, too, which, you know, they got to have their um, vegetables. This helps them pre-reduce better. And, uh, you know, that's, that's not all I give them. I also give them stuff like... Um, um, sometimes I even give them cat food. It just all depends on what type of day it is. They get all type of different fish foods. They get all, they get my frog, they get my African cod frog fruits, food sometimes even. They get all, they even get dry mealworms sometimes. But today, this is what we're going with. So, without further ado, let me show you guys which ones are sitting in front of me right now. Okay, and this is the spray water, which I'm going to spray this with right here. And that's just usually how I do it. With these guys, I'll spray just the top because they like high humidity. And these are my zebras. There's some right there. I'll see if we can catch them on camera eating for me. We just might since I don't feed them as much anymore. So without further ado, let me get this all cut up and put in here. And then we'll be right back with the armadillion zebras. Okay, guys. Now I got the food in here. And let's see if we're going to see any. Ooh, look at that one see, already. That one's got a fish flake that I put in there. That is so. That is super cool. I'm like he's trying to take it. I got a whole bunch of these in here, but um, I'll show you that in a minute. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys how they eat because there's one zebra right now that's. But I think it's like in the um, bee pollen. So, oh, it's got a oh, it's got a flake and it's taking it back. These are the Arndelimium zebra isopads. They don't like too much. They don't like it too wet. So I just kind of sprayed the top of these guys. Yep, and we got some more. And we got two more looking like they're... We about to have some more babies, although we do got babies in here already. And some springtails, which springtails are good for the colony. It keeps um, under everything under control with the other pest. But yeah, yeah, they're pretty busy in there. So yeah, there's a lot of action going on in there right now. And these are one of my favorites. I love Arndelimium anyway. They're... They're like so my favorite types out of all of the isopads. <laughs> I love the orange and lemon. I want some cool guy one day, but I know they're a pretty penny. And whenever I make that pretty penny, I'll definitely be getting some of those. But now um, we spend time with these guys. Um, okay, they're done. And sometimes we get them. And see, and there's a baby right there. So we definitely got babies, which is a good sign. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to put these guys away now and move on to the next one. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Next here we got the um, Lottery Pasolio Isopads. Um, they are all different colors. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And there's all oh, these guys, these suckers, they, they breed like crazy. They're constantly always making more and more. Which is good because we don't want less. Uh, and these guys are crazy for food, so all the isopads I'm um, showing you a video of, they're all going to get the same type of food today. There's more there. There's some red, orange ones. We got a whole bunch of babies. Springtails. That's what the little tiny white things are, springtails. Which you definitely want to keep those with them because they, they believe me, they do help. Now we're going to feed them and see if we can catch them in feeding. 
in action. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, well, we got a baby one in action with the food. And then, of course, these guys, these guys are monsters when they eat, so I kind of give them a lot more than I do to zebra isopads. Like, they got a much bigger um, cucumber than I gave my zebras because, like I said, these guys are... These guys are monsters when they eat, so, and the baby ones are already helping themselves to it. Sometimes on these, you can actually see the big ones, but I guess today they're just, they're just playing it cool. And there are probably some more under here. Yep. Maybe we'll catch that one. Maybe. No. Ooh, that one might got a fish flake. And look at all the babies, guys. Ain't that cool? And these guys are all types of different colors. That's what I love about these lotteries. They got, they're got they all type of beautiful colors. Like I was showing you guys under here earlier. Wow. That's amazing. Let's look at that, guys. And that one's like white with orange. With a little orange in the back. Super stoked. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next ISO pads. Um, I just really wanted to show you guys these because these have got all kind of different colors in them. And there's a bunch of babies in here. So we'll definitely be seeing what's going to be happening soon. So stay tuned. And with these guys, I keep it moist because uh, only right here. Because I do, unlike the zero, these guys do like a wet spot where they can just hang out at. So I really damp this down with water and spray it. Just spray this part really good. And then we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, this next one here is the Canyon Isopads. These are, these are humongous isopads, and I'm about to show you guys. They're in the Pasolio family too, so let's see if we can get any. I'm sure they're right there. And there's a bunch of these too. These, these guys breed like, these guys breed like they ain't no tomorrow leader. And they're kind of a different, I think all of them are like different shape and pattern in some way and whatever type of isopad you got. But yeah, these are some humongous ones. That's what attracted me to these guys because they get pretty big. I have some that's bigger. Okay, that one right there is a giant. If my phone will focus, we're going to feed them now and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and let's see if we can get some in action eating. Look like that one is looking for food. That one is not. Usually you can find a good leg of them under the logs. Yep, yeah, there we go. See? And these guys like the barrel, so, they're, so they spend some of their time in, in the soil, which is fine. And keep in mind, if you got these, they also eat like, they also need like calcium, like um, collarbone or... Um, eggshells which right now I got collarbone in with these guys buried they're, they're buried in here somewhere but yeah oh the baby one got it I just thought this would be a neat video to show you guys because I get asked what do I feed these guys and this is part of what I feed them so and they're just pretty much fun to have I've been collecting wild type ones since I was a kid and this one are like since these are Pasolio, I make sure one part stays wet all the time. So we're definitely going to do that. And um, I'm going to show you my final ISO pads. So stick around and I'll be right back. And look, we got a little bit of action. Oh, yeah, that one's got a flake of fish, fish food. Yep, to me, they seem to be loving a fish food. And they like all of it, but the fish food is going to be gone first, I'm pretty sure. And these guys are crustaceans. They're actually not a bug. They're actually a crustacean. So that's pretty dope too. But I'll be back. Okay, these are my last but not least isopack collection I got going on here right now. And these are my wild caught Arndelimium. Like when I say wild caught, these are the ones I just found outside. And I decided to keep them to see how they would turn out. And they are getting huge. That one right there has gotten pretty big. Wow. I caught these all when they were really young. It's going to probably be hard to find some of these guys, but I will. 
But they definitely do eat, let me tell you. Because a lot of them are still babies like that one. Okay, a few of these you can see. Like I said, these are the wild ones, so... So yeah, I am going to feed them and I'm pretty sure these guys are not going to eat on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. I appreciate y'all stopping by, showing your love and support. I appreciate y'all being curious about the creatures I got and what I feed them. But anyway, I'm going to get off here now. I'm going to get these guys says that I can guarantee you these guys ain't going to eat on camera yet because a lot of them are still babies. And if you like these type of videos, pets and plants, please give me a like, subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of the pets and plants fam. If you would kindly want to, if you kindly like to watch my playlist so I can get monetization, I would appreciate that too. But till then, stay safe, stay, stay, stay safe, stay blessed. Goodbye.